Welcome to our shelf. Today what I have is a full review and demonstration of the current generation Mac Mini, which came out in late 2012. So in case you missed my unboxing video, here it is again in about 10 seconds. Basically what you get in the box is an HDMI to DVI adapter, a bunch of manuals, power cord, and the iodized aluminum unibody Mac Mini itself. So on the back of the Mac Mini you have your power button, power supply input, Ethernet port, Firewire 800, HDMI, Thunderbolt port, four USB 3.0s, have your XD SC card slot, audio in and audio out, and below is a single vent for exhaust. And on the front we have an IR receiver and an LED indicator. The rest of it's pretty smooth. It's obviously missing the optical drive. Now on the bottom you have a removable base. You just simply give it a turn to match the two white dots and it comes right off to access the internals. So inside on top, among other things, you have your RAM, your fan, your Wi-Fi port, and there's also your hard drive underneath that, and your power supply. And then to secure the base, you just simply match the white dot with the black dot, and you're good to go. Okay, so let's talk about the important specs of this Mac Mini. It comes with a 2.5 GHz dual-core Intel Core i5 processor, 4 GB of RAM, 500 GB hard drive, Intel HD Graphics 4000, and Mountain Lion OS X, which is upgradable to Maverick. You can get this Mac Mini in three configurations. The specs I just named just came off the base one. Now to get started, just simply plug the HDMI cable to the back of the TV, and plug the other end to the back of the Mac Mini. Plug the power cord to the back of the Mac Mini, and then plug the other end into the wall. And then press the power button, and you're ready to go for your first boot up. And once you see the Apple logo, it's going to walk you through a series of screens, Bluetooth connect the keyboard, Bluetooth to connect the uh, mouse, um, Wi-Fi setup, iCloud, time and date, enable your location, register your computer, and that's pretty much about it. Agree to the terms, and then you'll see uh, the thank you, and you are all set. You're ready to go. And here it is, the mega setup itself, a Mac Mini hooked up to a 50-inch Panasonic Plasma TV. This TV is part of the GT series. And here it is. I must say it looks pretty good. You might have to calibrate it a little bit. And I apologize in advance. My camera wasn't completely focused like it should have been. It looks a lot clearer in person than it looks on from the way the camera actually picked it up. Again, I didn't focus my camera. I thought it wasn't focused, but it wasn't. Um, but it looks pretty good, though. And again, when you turn it off for the first time, you are going to have to go into your settings, go, into, go to the display menu, and adjust the uh, scale. Because otherwise, the uh, top menu bar is going to show as it's not showing right now. But you can adjust that, and you can get it to show eventually. And when you play actual videos, they play just as good as if it was an actual computer monitor. The resolution isn't the best, but it's definitely acceptable. Go. And this product is so cool. Well, I'm going to go a little over the top and give it a grand introduction that is unlike any... And as far as browsing the web, it pretty much works exa exactly the same. Um, the only problem I had was reading certain text, so I downloaded an app out of the App Store, which kind of, it's called like a magnifying glass app. It allows you to zoom in to uh, read text better, but if you have a magic mouse, you can always just double tap to uh, zoom in close on your words, so browsing the web won't be a problem either. Check out the new trailer from G.I. Joe Retaliation right here on Apple Trail. So overall, I strongly recommend the Mac Mini. The only problem I see with it, and it's just my personal preference, is that it doesn't have an optical drive. Every so often I do photography and opposed to putting pictures on an SD card or a flash drive, I like to put them on a DVD. But you can always go out and buy Apple's external DVD burner and that'll take care of that problem. Besides, everybody's going the way of flash drives and SD cards anyway, so it's not a big deal. So I give the Mac Mini a 9 out of 10. It's definitely upgradable. And it's powerful enough right out of the box to do a little bit more than some basic tasks. And if you need to do more, you can definitely upgrade it 
The only downfall is it doesn't come with a keyboard or a mouse or a monitor. However, you can buy your own, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Some people don't like to use Apple's uh, products. So that's been a review of the Mac Mini Mega Setup hooked up to a 50-inch Panasonic Plasma GT Series TV. Thanks for watching.